we return to the world of Avernum. Alright, so I don't actually remember where we left off at. But, um, I'm just going to kind of guess. I know we were trying to get underground, and we found this trap door that was actually trapped. Like, there's that thing there. But there's a door here. To heal your party and restore its spell energy. Well, everybody's, yeah, everybody's good in terms of spell energy and stuff like that. Dry bone. Okay, so the door's currently locked, and there's no way I can get through. Oh, man, that's a pain. Alright, let's see if there's another trap door, because that trap door led to our death. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's just, let's look around this place. Fort uh, Draco, I think is what it's called. I can't remember. Um, oh, shit, have I already looked around everywhere? Hang on, what's... What is out here? I'm just going to kind of hunt around and see. I haven't looked in here. Oh, maybe there's... There might be one in here. This is the Fort Draco Foundry. It's small, hot, and very busy. To the north is a broad shadow pool of molten rocks and metal. The fresh iron runs off into the narrow troughs, where the metal solidifies in the ingots. How the pools are kept so hot is unclear. Magic? The sign says Foundry. Oh, Lots of iron. Crude leather gloves. Do I have any gloves? Nope, I'll take those then. Give these to my lizard friend here. Alright. Please don't explode, is that what <laughs> he just said? Um, can you please move? Thank you. Alright, uh, don't... This is still a foundry, isn't it? Okay, there's no trap door in here, so... There's only one trap door, and in that trap door... So far, there isn't... There's no other trap doors. Alright, let's look in here. The dust inside this dark building burns her nose and eyes. This is the Fort Warehouse. Ore from the surrounding mines assorted in neat labeled piles, waiting to be weighed, sold, and smelted. Okay. Trap door? No. Anything to pick up? Okay, you will have those gloves, and you will have those gloves. Okay, well, this is kind of disappointing. There's not another... There's, like, no other trapdoor here, and there's... <laughs> the only one is will, like, lead to our death. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Oh, that's... that's the... the Anford guy that... Um, directly underneath this. How can I get down there? So the trap doors. Okay, so there are s there are several trap doors. Yes, but I can only find one. So I've been able to locate one, but apparently there are several. So oh oh, here's a building. Poke poke. Cheryl. There's a small woman with curly hair sitting and poking at her low fire. She watches you silently as you enter. She doesn't seem surprised by your presence. You ask her name. I'm Cheryl, she says in a quiet voice. I'm hunting for some bandits under Fort Draco, I've heard. She shudders. Don't know anything about it. No idea. No hint of how they sneak out of town. There's nothing interesting behind my house, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, what are you doing back here? Just sitting in my little house with my stuff. Maybe with some things you could buy things that are perfectly legal to sell and you can sell me things too nothing wrong with that nothing illegal going on here she's nervous so I can't buy anything illegal from you then there's nothing illegal here nope she's shaking a little and the ore pals back there they're my property I can prove it so stay away can't I just take a little peek at your entirely legal pile of ore the corner of her mouth begins to twitch just stay away from them don't go behind my shop please okay somehow despite her pleading she doesn't seem entirely sincere let me take a look at your wares Okay, she has tools uh, in her little home. She isn't too concerned about where wares come from. Okay, that seems neat. I would like to sell something. Alright, you can have... Silver necklace. Some shrooms. Oh. Some... Oh, that's really all I want to sell you, so... Yep, that's about it. 
You're about to be under arrest, ma'am. Ha ha! That was useful. Okay, I can use the G key as a shortcut. That's neat. But hey, we found ourselves a nice little shortcut. A cloak. Take that. Pants. Take that. In fact, put those on right now. Bar of iron, silver coins, dried meat, and copper coins. Okay. All right, I'm going to save real quick. Just to make sure that I don't die. Yep. While I'm down here. Uh-oh. We got motherfuckers. Thug. What a perfect time to save. Alright, let's kill some bitches. <laughs> that was easy. Um, You can attack that bitch. Ow. Okay, we gotta fuck her with a... He's got some bows. You can do priest spells, right? You can't do mage spells. Alright, then for you, you just go attack him. Alright, you are going to be important. You have mage spells. So do bolt of fire on him. Okay, good job. You didn't miss. Alright, try not to die. Okay. Battle discipline. Alright, perfect shot on him. Oh, come on. Okay. Um, kill her. I feel like that's the exact same sound that Minecraft's bow sound used to be. Like, it's it's uh, it's strikingly similar. Okay, we'll do Bolt of Fire on him again. Okay, please stop. Okay, finish him off. Finish her off. Finish him off. Perfect. Awesome. Swords that I'll sell. Bag of meal. Take that, I guess. Pitcher. Bucket of water. Alright, and some combat here. Let's go pick up some items. I think we already got most of everything. So, that space is currently blocked. Alright, that's neat. You are approaching a meeting room. A crude wooden table runs the length of the room. There's a thick reek of sweat and bad mushroom beer. Oh, there's a thug over there. Let's not go. Gosh darn it. Um. I'm not exactly ready to fight him, considering Mr. Zess, whatever his name is, is uh, actually almost dead. Whatever. Come on, guys. The water's fine. It's one down. I don't know how we're going to do this. Alright, you are just going to do a minor heal. So, who has... Okay, everybody's pretty much at good health except for this guy, so heal him up. You come in here... Do some magic stuff. Throw a bolt of fire at this guy. Alright, he's got some stuff. Oh. Huh. Ending combat mode. Why? Uh, uh, <laughs> that was interesting. To end combat. Yeah, I can't even end it. Whatever. That was neat. Okay, so, well aimed blow. We're gonna go kill this guy get him done um, you finish him off okay fight him that's the, oh god we got a warrior oh shit that ain't good okay okay I think best order of operations is the oh I can't even move there can I nope oh he's cursed damn all right I guess I will just heal uh, this guy here whenever he needs to be healed in fact I'll go ahead and heal him right now. It's not that big of a deal. Alright, so that leaves you. Since you have magic, first of all, move here. Oh. Fuck him up. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Ow, stop throwing those. Stop. <laughs> what is this? Why does it keep doing that? Alright. Everybody just focus. Okay, never mind. We, we got him pretty good. Okay, moving on. You have okay health, so you go fight him. Um, go ahead and finish him off. You can come around and fight that bitch. Alright, uh, you run around, get him. Okay, that, that's not what I wanted to happen, happen, but okay. Hey! Hey, we did it, and we didn't die. That's pretty good. 
Alright, so what do we have here? It's group heal. That's good. Some more daggers and swords. Bag of meal. Fish. Ability eat food. Heal for five or nine. How do I... Oh, wait, wait. I gotta use... Alright. Uh, who needs the healing? Alright, you need the healing more than anything. So... I didn't mean eat it, but oh, okay. Well, okay, you can have this bread then, Mr. Cat. Alright. Uh, actually, give me the bread, give me the pear. And let's see what else there is down here. Um, let's not go in there just yet. <laughs> Let's let's search the place first. Chainmail. Oh, iron sword. Short sword. Uh, bronze helmet. Equip that. Okay, so this thing does holy crap a lot of damage. Okay, you can wear the uh, chainmail. Fine cloak. I'll take that. Actually, I'm gonna give that to him. You can wear that. You can wear this regular cloak. Doing this by importance, you're not very important. Alright. Uh, another bar of iron that I will take. Okay. So, you can't even eat that, can you? Alright. Then I'm going to give this to you. Put that in your quick use. Um, let's set up for this battle. So, honestly... Uh, you're going to take a healing potion. Okay, I'm encumbered, actually, so I have, I'm carrying too much. So, you carry the iron bars. I'm still carrying 46 pounds, which means I'm, I'm, I have too much on me. So, it's either, I'll just take the gloves off. So, I'm encumbered. What are your stats at? Uh, okay, you're good. Uh, you're good. Actually, you can use a little bit more. You can have those. Uh, what do I have that I can give you, my friend? Um, you can have this rusty... Actually, wait. Do you have it? Okay, no. You're going to wear the rusty helmet, because you're going to be the main guys that are going to walk in and fight. So you can wear that. Alright. I feel like I, I feel kind of bad not giving these guys a lot of protection. You can have those. You can have some boots. Especially this one here. She doesn't have anything. Uh, you can have this helmet. Okay. So, let's run through here real quick. Um, oh, shit. No, no, no. Go back. Just joking. I actually wanted to come through here and fight these mother truckers in here first. Or at least talk to them or something. I don't know. How's everybody doing in terms of health? Uh, items. Okay. Alright, I hope we don't die. Save first. You know how this is. Yes. Okay. Let's do this. The leader of the small band of brigands watches you over the fire. She wears the tattered remains of her uniform, the chainmail she wore when she served in the Avernite army. Now she's thin and haggard, and there are green stains around her mouth. She sneers at you. So the commander finally woke up, eh? Finally thought he's bold. I'm Galia the warrior, and these tunnels are mine. Where are you from? From nowhere. This is my home now. I will not be driven out. What's that green stuff around your mouth? She nervously wipes at her mouth with the back of her hand. Stains? Th there are no stains? The green marks remain. Her hand was noticeably trembling. Trembling. I have been sent here to drive you out. So I guessed. Fort Rocco doesn't think I'm useful anymore. I assure you I have no intention of cooperating. I like it down here. You could just leave peacefully. Fort Draco let you be down here. 
Yes, we were their pet mercenaries. A caravan taken every now and then, without violence, was a small price to pay. Her face twitches and she scrapes the green stains around her mouth with her fingernails. Now we... We... She loses her train of thought. You could just leave peacefully. Now? With you owing me a blood price? Never. Conversation ends. <sighs> Things could have gone so well, Galia. 